welcome back to episode three of Play Anywhere, and I'm here in Reykjavik, and it's freezing, it is windy, but it's gonna be a good one. So we are kicking things off with a road trip and first stop, Geysa. Let's go. We have come to the Geysas. And apparently, the water boils underneath the ground. So like over there, the water column collapses and superheating occurs and then water flashes to steam in the pipe and the geyser erupts and then that is when the water comes firing out the ground and looks incredible so I'm hoping I can go and see one. Yeah, you want me to freestyle here? Yeah, give me the ball. Oh. Battling the elements. Well, we made it. Look at this place. This is absolutely incredible. To think this is on earth. This is crazy. It's a pity I can't freestyle here though. Like, look at the floor. I think I'd break a leg. But it looks good though. I'll tell you what though, it is hard to freestyle here. Just because it's so cold and windy. Like, can you hit the wind? You can see all the raindrops as well. I can't feel my feet. In fact, I can't feel my hands either. Or my face. Oh, let's get back in the car and head to the next place. We're going to the lighthouse and I'm going to try a touch test because Jamie Redknapp, like I said, I'm coming for you. So I'm here at CrossFit Reykjavik and you will not believe who I am here to meet. Two times fittest woman in the world. I'm going to die. Session. All right, Annie, jokes aside, I want to know three exercises you recommend for footballers. Ooh, um, power clean, so some Olympic weightlifting, uh, kettlebell swings, and let's do some squats. So we're going to grab onto the bar, stand up and keep it close, touch here, get it up to my shoulder so you can drop underneath it and stand up. Kinda. No? No. Oh! No. Right, I think I should just stick to tricks. <laughs> this clearly isn't a career for me, is it? So, kettlebell swing. It's the same thing, explosive as the one trying to get out of it and using our posterior chain. We want to stand with feet about shoulder width apart. You're going to grab the kettlebell, pull it in, pop it up. Chest tall, shoulder blades together, strong back. Yeah. Yeah. And squeeze. Yes, there you go. We're gonna do a dumbbell squat. When we're doing the squat, we wanna think shoulder width apart, and then I'm just gonna sit straight down. Thank you, keep my chest up. Nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that reaction? You sorry, I got, me. That sorry, was I got awesome. excited. Get the weights up, resting it on the shoulders. And we're gonna make sure that we keep the elbows high so that we can be as upright as possible when we go through the squat. Okay. 
elbow chair, stand straight, yes, yeah. and squat. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I like this one. All right, nice work, girl. Thank you. Fittest woman pending. <laughs> <laughs> All that exercise has made me work up an appetite. Let's go and get something to eat. Hot dog time! What did you like on it? Yeah, everything. Perfect, thank you very much. Okay. Bon appetit. I know it's not French. So I've come across this rainbow in the middle of the city centre. It was painted here to celebrate gay pride, which they have every year. It looks pretty cool, so I kind of want to freestyle. Oh, yeah. We're at Grotta Island Lighthouse. It is over there, there, that way, that way. And it's 23 metres high, so I'm going to try my touch test on my journey to be in Jamie Redknapp's record. Let's go. So as you can tell, the wind has picked up. This is going to be a very difficult touch test. You can see how close we are to the sea, so I'm going to have to kind of hurry up with this because we're a bit behind schedule. Time is ticking and that tide comes in, so we really haven't got long for this. Maybe like three attempts maximum. with your record. All right, we've actually got to hurry up because the tide's coming in and we're going to be stuck. <laughs> so we've had to just stop the attempts, which were pretty impossible anyway because of the wind. And we have to go. Look, look at the tide. This is our path. This was our path to get back. So now we have to go on the rocks. Since it wasn't possible to do the touch test at that lighthouse, I'm gonna have to find another. I think I may have found one. Okay. <laughs> I'm only kidding guys, it's like two meters. So that's it, the Reykjavik trip has come to an end and I've had an amazing time, of course, trying the ball drop test which didn't really go to plan. Like, did you see the wind? I've never seen wind like it. And of course, then talking to Annie, that woman is insane. Two times fittest woman in the world. And who knows, she may become three times. But anyway, guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.